Good afternoon, viewers. Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's February the 19th, 2014, and we're in the shop of Stan Hunter and his son Crossley. Uh, you're looking here at a boat that we uh, highlighted some months ago. It's a 1955 Port Carling Seabird, smooth skin, and uh, Crossley's been doing a lot of work on this boat. It's a 20-footer, and uh, I'm going to get Crossley to just uh, describe what he's been doing over the last several months with the boat. Right, hi Bob. So what I've done is put a new bottom in. It's a batten seam bottom. And uh, today I'm bearing the decks, bring it all down to a flat, nice, where it should be. Right. Um, this is my buckhorn. And, um, how does that work exactly? Do you mind showing the viewers how you sure. use that, So this Crossley? is just a, uh, a method of uh, scraping. Okay. So that'll go in there. Right, and create this really sharp edge. The neat thing about this tool is that uh, you know when it's dull because of the sound of it. Really? Yeah, so you just have to listen carefully. <coughs> just gently, 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 ever so gently. Okay. Strip the last you can control the depth of the blade, I guess, with that. Uh, yeah, and, and it's just really critical, like, it's really sharp. And, uh, so you're trying to bring it all back to a nice bright color, right? Yeah. It's ours, and it's, uh, it's an interesting part of the process. And is that a more efficient process than sanding? Why use uh, that this is, tool? I'm getting ready to sand, actually. Okay. And then I'll do a cross hatch, and then I'll straight sand it. Um, so this is just everything before the final sand. Okay. Wow, what a difference it makes. It really makes the wood look brand new. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now you were mentioning you'd done a few other things with the boat apart from the new bottom. You've obviously cleaned up the ribs. Yeah, yeah, so I've, I've detailed the inside and um, again, there'll be a little bit more and then getting ready for an interior varnish. Um, gas tank's ready, the engine's coming back. It's a Buchanan 90 horsepower rocket. Wow, wow. And, um, yeah, just getting everything ready for varnish really. Yeah. When would you be uh, anticipating that the boat would be finished? Any idea? Uh, early this spring. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'll try and pop back again, if I may, uh, when you're doing the finishing touches. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm jealous of the owner of this. I must say, I, I can't imagine a more fun boat to tool around the Muskoka Lakes in than this beautiful seabird. Yeah, this will uh, live up in Lake of Bays, actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. And um, what kind of varnish are you going to use, Crossley? Uh, Epiphanes. Epiphanes, yeah. right. Yeah, and you thin the first coats? Yeah, I mean, no, I won't put in any seam compound until like the fifth coat. Okay. So we'll hmm. be doing probably 10 to 12. Wow. And how much do you thin, thin the first coat or two? Uh, just a little bit with thinner, so okay. it really absorbs well. Yeah, so. okay. Anyway, congratulations. You're doing a great job, and it's going to be a beautiful boat. Thank you. Yeah, I look forward to the delivery day. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. You're probably looking forward to another project to work on after this. Oh, we have uh, we have quite a bit lined up, so we're into next winter already. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Be some streamliner. And, uh, yeah. Well, I know you do good work, and that's probably why you're getting continued customers. Okay. Well, thanks, Bob. Thanks, Crossley. Right. Viewers, here we are in Stan Hunter's main shop, and we have a magnificent. Believe it or not, a brand new build. This is a, a 23 footer. Uh, Stan's built it from scratch. It's based on a Billy Johnson design from probably from the 1920s or 30s. Uh, the owner of this boat saw something similar in, in a neighbor's boathouse, I presume, and uh, was quite taken with the design. Stan's been working on this boat for quite a while. It's his fourth, he's calling it his fourth concert boat. Stan's a member of a very prestigious choir in Aurelia, the Cellar Singers, and uh, he's timing the boat to be finished by the fourth concert. <laughs> it's uh, ribbed and smooth skin, Carvel, planked, and t Stan's telling me that the ribs are about one inch approximately, good strong ribbing, and uh, some butt blocks. Anyway, Stan's got a few more details to share with us about the boat. Hey, welcome back to the boat shop, Bob. The last time you were here, we were probably ribbing the boat, and it didn't look at all like this, but now it starts to look like a boat. And at this point, we're into the fun stuff. This is where I create details that will differentiate this boat from um, any others, and uh, give it its unique appearance. Uh, We've had a lot of fun doing little things. Oops. these uh, covering board joints. Yeah. And uh, right now I'm just framing the hatches so that they will uh, be decked over and the decking is straight from the stern to the stem. Right. 
That's a beautiful joinery stand. I don't know how on earth the craftsmanship involved with producing such a finely tuned uh, joinery is amazing. Kind of you to say, Bob, but it's a labor of love. Yeah, obviously. Uh, any idea on the completion date? I know you want to be finished by the fourth concert. When, when is the fourth concert? Fourth concert's in May, and we should be water testing the boat then. Wow. So. Now, how's she going to be powered? 100 horsepower gray marine motor will go here below these hatches. Okay. So you found, uh, or the, you or the owner has found a traditional engine to match the boat? Yes. Wow. Isn't that something? Was that a difficult job, do you know? No. I just read it from another boat that is in storage and uh, not in activity now, and one we've had for many years. So wow. uh, you rob from Peter to pay Paul, but we end up with a good product. Wow, obviously. And a period correct product, at least to a certain extent. Mm. Anyway, congratulations, Stan. It's looking beautiful. Thanks. Next and time you're in, we'll be putting the varnish up, I hope. Great. Okay, we'll look forward to coming back. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.